ectasia and keratoconus brings to mind stressful decisions, invasive surgeries, and poor visual outcomes. It doesn't have to be that way. So let's think outside the cone. Let's approach ectasia like a refractive disorder with its own unique circumstances. Using modern day technologies and techniques, and even combinations, let's approach ectasia with its own unique situations and circumstances and aim for unaided emetropia. Collagen cross-linking is a new advance in keratoconus where we can cross-link the cornea and strengthen it and I believe this will be a great adjunct to most of the refractive techniques. In further ectasia we can use Intax by first making a channel in the lamellar cornea with a tiny slit incision. The intact rings can be inserted as segments as you can see here, one segment. They act by flattening the cone into a dome as you see here. The second ring is now being inserted. Intacts can be placed in various combinations of single, single or double rings, a large and small optical zone as you can see here for effective outcomes. Once the intact rings is in place, we can still enhance the vision by glasses, contact lenses and even laser vision surgery. Once again, surface ablation techniques with the eczema laser can be used, like in this case with a single intact ring. This is a high mag picture and we are planning an eczema laser refractive correction for the residual astigmatism on this patient who has already has an intact in place to an emetropic outcome. As you see here, in cases of post-lasic ectasia, as seen in this clinical picture with the ectatic cornea, we can use sutureless lamellar corneal keratoplasty, single sutured keratoplasty, and even deep hand lamellar keratoplasty to build the cornea in various forms to provide thickness as well as improve the keratometry as seen here in this topography. This can then be followed once again by surface laser refractive surgery to correct the residual emetropia and astigmatism towards an unaided emetropic outcome. Phakic implants like the Vision ICL monofocal intraocular lens, toric intraocular lens, and even piggyback intraocular lenses can be used to manipulate the optic of the keratoconus intraocularly followed by surface eczema laser to correct the emetropia for a great refractive outcome. So for early or late ectasia or those associated with scars or cataracts. All these conditions can be approached with modern technology today to help these patients achieve the vision goal that they deserve.